Okay, say cheese. 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 The Haskett family is happy to have their dog partner back after he was taken from the family's home on Riverside Drive on April 9th. The family's home security cameras show a woman and a dog enter the yard around 3.48 p.m. The woman appears to be petting partner who is tied up outside. Then her and the dog she arrived with leave. Minutes later, partner is brought inside the home and the entire family is shown leaving around 3.53 p.m. After the family has left, the same woman is shown returning to the Haskett house alone. Around 5.39 p.m., she returns again, this time with a man. They stand outside the home for a moment before entering the neighboring apartment building, which they use to gain entry to the back parking lot. Moments later, the security cameras catch the woman trying to gain entry through the back entrance of the property. Around 5.45 p.m., the woman returns, again alone, and approaches the front entry of the home. She's there for only a few minutes before a younger man enters the yard and approaches the front of the home as well. And at 5.49 p.m., both the woman and the man are seen walking away with a dog that appears to be partner, the Haskett family's beloved nine-year-old long-haired German Shepherd. Neil Haskett believes the man and woman broke in through the window in their front yard. There's, there's some camera footage of people walking by and, and glancing over. A lot of people looked, but it wasn't enough to raise suspicion. The family quickly posted photos of their dog on Facebook, which Northern Life shared. And by the next day, the family received dozens of tips from people who said they've seen partner being walked in the hospital area. Based on those tips, the family drove around the area, and around 6 p.m. on April 10th, they spot a woman on Lawrence Street walking a dog that appears to be partner. Oh, thank you. That's our dog. Partner. We're calling the police. Call the police. Hi, partner. He was uh, shaved almost completely bald. Uh, his head wasn't shaved and his tail wasn't shaved, but the rest of all of, all of his long hair were, was, was completely shaven off. We're pretty confident that uh, because... You know, they, I guess, because he's purebred, that they, they, either they were looking for a chip or tattoo. I'm not too sure. Either that or to conceal his identity. Uh, partner. Wait. His name's Partner. Because you're yelling at I didn't steal it. I got it. You stole our dog. Yeah, yeah. Then they, then they After came. confronting the couple, who claimed they got the dog from Pet Save, Neil and his wife called the Sebury police, who eventually brought the dog to the family's vet, who was able to confirm that he was indeed Partner and the Haskett family was happily reunited with their beloved long-haired German Shepherd that night. It wasn't gone very long, but it was a, it was a very emotional homecoming, <laughs> let me tell you. And he, he went to sleep and, and he, he slept the whole night. The woman in the video was arrested on April 13th and charged with break, enter, and theft, possession of property obtained by crime and mischief. She was released with a promise to appear in court, which is scheduled for May 21st. The identity of the woman has not been released by police, but on social media, several users say they believe her to be a woman named Heather Zephyr, who appeared in a video by Northern Life back in December 2010, claiming that her dog had died after eating rat poison at a park on York Street. On April 14th, Heather Zephyr called the Northern Life office, and although she wouldn't admit to breaking into the Haskett's home, she did admit to taking the dog, claiming he was being neglected and was concerned for his well-being. The police are now looking for this man who was seen leading the dog away with the woman. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Greater Sudbury Police at 705-675-9171 or Crime Stoppers at 222-TIPS.